to go out of town and drink their drinking water is it upsets your stomach because we're so used to the hard water. It's weird. It's trust me, you get used to stuff, you know. Hello? You see that. Hi. Hi. Are you Dougie? Yeah, how are How's you? Your Dougie? Hey. I'm Lilia. Hey, Lilia, how nice are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. I've heard so much about you. Oh. Uh, good, good or bad good? Good. <laughs> you, yeah, you definitely. That's okay if second. you hear bad things too, because yeah. it comes with my territory. Oh yeah? The ceilings that we have here, we've got these lovers that are right here mm -hmm. on the ropes that these, actually these gates are open, all four of them, because this is an old building, it has to breathe. Yeah. It breathes. Every day from October to the end of April, the long john shirt, the long sleeve t-shirt, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a jacket. Good to know that uh, it's And then not I wear boots corners. like this with no grips. There's a certain way you have to walk on ice, too. Oh, maybe you can teach me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get this ice surface, we would call it in mint condition. What's that? That means there's the edges have been edged with your edging machine because it's all hockey's played along the sideboards. I call it a perfect edge. If you take a slap shot from one blue line and you shoot it down the boards, it'll go stay right along that edge all the way, come back to you. You can do that? Well, my shot ain't that hard, but it, <laughs> but comes, it could be done. It, it can be done, yeah. Then you know you have a perfect edge. I'd like to see that. Well, that's, that's you know, that's what we pride ourselves in here is a perfect edge. Yeah, where is it, this end, it, it takes many, it takes like, I guess you'd call it 20 hours to of, learn? of talk and training before you're actually ready to go. When this is running, you stick this on and that takes all the snow away from the boards and kicks it underneath the Zamboni. So that way you can stay away from the boards with your conditioner. Every Zamboni's got one of these in the whole world, so. That is kicking that, it gets it wet, because it's all dry. And that wash water, that overfilled, so I gotta run that, that runs under there too. So yeah, she's, uh, you know, you saw, turning on, you gotta keep those tanks off. There was a rink in Duluth, Minnesota. They didn't have their tanks off, they, and the furnace kicked on. Flame, boom, blew the whole building part apart. This part of the building, you know, just boom, boom out there. Really blew up. It's you gotta be very careful with the propane tanks, you know, they're you know look they use in Iraq and well Pakistan and that. That's how they make their giant bombs. It's dangerous. It's like NASCAR here. Something goes down with this in the middle of a day where there's hockey going on, we have to fix that before that hour's up so we can get back out there and flood again. Every game's got to stay on time. Yeah, this rink got beat up last night, I'm telling you. There's some idiots out here skating last night. This ice is just beat up. 